Auburn 38, Arkansas 23. Uh, Bo Nix, I'm not going to apologize for the things that I have said before because he deserved all of it. He played horribly the last two seasons, and and people still thought he's you know he's one of the best quarterbacks. Da, 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 da. He was not. He absolutely was not. However, massive, massive improvements this season, and he was awesome against the Hogs yesterday. Uh, props to Brian Harson and Mike Bobo for being able to to develop him. And, Did anybody and, think Mike Bobo had that in him still? I'll, I'll be honest, no. Uh, <laughs> I did because I, I didn't. I didn't either. I didn't either. By the way, I didn't know anything about Harson, so I can't. I can't speak to that. I didn't think Bobo had this anyone. They made that hire as an OC. I thought, well, we've seen him in the SEC for a while, and he hadn't done anything special. Nope, you are a hundred percent correct. Uh, Bo he's, Nix, do, he's done some special special this year. Yes, Bo Nix, twenty one out of twenty six, two touchdowns, two hundred ninety two yards. And, and one interception, Josh said he plays well on the road. Yeah, that's the biggest change. Is He has always been Bo Picks on the road. He's been awful on the road. And this year thus far, at LSU, at Arkansas, even at Penn State, like he has played really well. This was not the Tank Bigsby show or anything like that. Like it, This wasn't the, the ground game that, that got them this win. I, I will say this. So I watched a lot of this game yesterday, and there were some... Big, big officiating. We talked about it with the Ole Miss game. There was some big officiating stuff in this. But I don't know that any of it was so overwhelming that it took Arkansas out of the game. Arkansas had plenty of opportunities here to win this football game. And I think this team finally just ran out of gas. They have been against a gauntlet from the word go this season. And... And they just do not have the depth required to be able to compete week in and week out all season long against a schedule like this. I mean, if you look at who they have played at Texas, Texas A&M, Georgia, Ole Miss, now you got to come home to face off against Auburn. I mean, it it's tough. It is a gauntlet in the SEC West, and, and they were going through it. They were going through it. It should be a little easier on the back half, but... Man, you know, it, it, Fayetteville was rocking. This was a hell of a crowd. They they put up a hell of a fight, and they were in it until the very end. And and Auburn surprised me, very much surprised yeah. me. I thought that this team was not very good this year. This would this one is the one that kind of turned the the corner for me. Did you have a feeling on this one? Yeah, I I like. I still like Arkansas. I still think the way that listen we. We now are looking at them from a different lens. Yes. And so it's so we're using words like frauds and things like that. Remember how how can somebody be a fraud when they came into the season and people thought they would struggle to win four games? Agreed. Agreed. And, and, you know what I'm saying? And now because they because they've lost a couple of games, they've lost some of them ugly, like we well now they're frauds. Well really? Really? Like I don't I don't understand that. Auburn just outplayed them. Bo yes. Bo looked magical. Bo looked like he looked at Baton Rouge. He just was pulling stuff out of his ass that he just didn't think was capable of doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, the toughest part of Arkansas' schedule, by the way, already gone. They play uh, Arkansas Pine Bluff. Then they've got a, a bye week. They play Mississippi State at home. They've got at LSU. They do have at Alabama, and then they close with Missouri. So, yep. you know, they're sitting at 4-3 and three right now, uh, I think, but if That's they can far. win three out of those five games, that's a seven-win season for a team that I think they're over/under coming into the season was four and a half. No, it was uh, five and a half. Five and a half. Five and a half. Okay. But, uh, but still, but still, like that's, that's like, impressive. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, I, it really bothers me when people are now calling them frauds. <laughs> like, yeah, not, really? not frauds. This was just this was always going to be the toughest part of the schedule, and and the fact that they got the win over A and M, they got the win over Texas. You huge, still got huge wins. Yes, you still got plenty of shots later on in this season to get big wins as well. Uh, the program set it in the right direction, and and Auburn it showed in this one. They have got the program headed in the right direction as well. So this is uh, this I, I will tell you this: the last half of the season is going to be a lot of fun in the SEC. A lot of fun. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.